take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. I'm so happy for how the Lord began with us in prayer this uh, morning time. We will take another prayer session. I say you will recover your prayer life. Yeah. The devil has shut your mouth for too long. He brought hammer turn upon you. You didn't have a covering for yourself. And you were just drying away. Now the Lord has removed that hammer yeah. Your mouth will pray. Yeah. Your mouth will pray. Yeah. Now, the prayer you will pray now is, Lord Jesus, visit me. Lord Jesus, visit me. Have you heard? Yeah. What is the prayer we are going to pray now? Lord Jesus, visit me. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, visit your people. Lord Jesus, visit your people. Lord Jesus, visit your people. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Visit your people. Visit your people. Lord Jesus. Visit your people. My Lord Jesus, visit us. Heavenly Lord, visit us. My Creator Lord, visit us. Almighty God, visit us. Visited your saints of God with your mind, paper. Father, visit us as you visited your saints of God with your mind, paper. Father, visit us, visit us, oh Lord, visit us, visit us, Father, visit us as you visit. Your saints of all with your mighty power, Father, visit us as you visited.
let your sense of all with your mighty power father visit 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 us jesus visit us visit us jesus visit us as you visit your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us as you visit your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us visit me jesus visit me visit me jesus visit me as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit me as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit me visit her jesus visit her visit her jesus visit her as you visit your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit her as you visit your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit her visit him jesus visit him visit him jesus visit him as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit him visit her jesus visit her visit him jesus visit him as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us visit us jesus visit us visit us jesus visit us as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us as you visited your saints of old with your mighty power jesus visit us thank you lord visit us 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 lord as you visited your sense of old as you visited your sense of old with your mighty power with your mighty presence lord visit us lord visit us lord visit us hallelujah visit us jesus visit us jesus visit us visit her life visit his life in the name of jesus visit my life visit my life oh lord we want you visit us jesus we want you to visit us we need you lord jesus 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 name we pray we have asked the lord to visit us and the lord has come welcome him with a clap of hand mm. the lord is here we invited him and he has come i said the lord has come hallelujah Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Reviver. I say you must be revived. Though it has not rained in your place, but it will rain in just here. Hallelujah. Your life must return fullness must come to your life Amen. in jesus name Amen. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. I love all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to listen to a testimony. According to the message here. What is the message? Revelation. Jesus laments over ungodly leaders. And in fact, ungodly leaders in Horemo. Amen? Amen. So, why are we hearing this? Number one, that the ungodly leaders, if you know you are ungodly, you should know that Jesus knows you and is grieved with you. Number two, Jesus laments over ungodly leaders. There's something he said that pains him more. He said the character of this, some of these ungodly leaders is penetrating into the members and that is why the thing is paining him more. The members, because of the impatience, because of the anger, because of the brutality, and so that the leaders are doing against them. They are also, the spirit of these things are also entering into the members. He said, this is bad to him. He served this people. He caused them to serve them. He brought them out and chose these leaders so that they can do this and now see how they are making the members to become children of hell. He's pending him so much. Number three, for you to know this and pray for the leaders. Because some of them is the devil that came into doing this. An enemy has done this. So you need to pray that God will give them victory. Amen. We want holiness and righteousness to return Amen. to holiness revival movement. Everywhere the movement is, both the leaders and the led should live in righteousness. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, it was just, it was last week, is that, that the Lord came to his daughter, Sister Linda, took him to one of the states of holiness revival movement and caused her to see and spoke to her the message she is going to give to us now. So, be attentive and listen. And things will change. In Jesus' name. Amen. We welcome our beloved sister Linda Rika to come forth and give the message of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let just worship God. Stand on your feet. Begin to thank him for the love he is showing us. Because all these things he's revealing to us. It's for us to change our ways. It's for us to make heaven. It's for us to correct our ways. You can feel it's paining you, but it's good. Because tomorrow you say, God, I thank you. I don't know that this thing I was doing we hinder me to heaven. Thank you for revealing the things that we hinder me to heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for thinking about us. In Jesus' name we pray. I heard about you, I heard about you, I heard about you, that's why I am here, Jesus, heard about you, 
I have about you. I have about you. That's why I am here, Savior. I have about you. I have about you. I have about you. That's why we are here, Jesus. We have about you. We have about you. We are about you. That's why I am here. Yesterday you reign. You reign in my life. Today come a reign. I reign forevermore. Yesterday you reign. Father, you are the most High God. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for again visitation to your children. We pray the Lord may the message be blessed to our life in Jesus' name. May this message revive us in the name of Jesus. May this message open our eyes to know our fault in Jesus' name. May this message comfort us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for what you are doing in our days. We exalt you. We love you, Lord. As you have begun, O oh Lord, may you continue with us. May you guide us and continue to rebuke us till we enter heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your divine mercy fall upon us, O oh God. We thank you for everything, O oh God. We bless you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Turn with me to the book of Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 1 to, to 11. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy again the shepherd of Israel. Prophesy and said unto them, Thus said the Lord God unto the shepherd, Woe be to the shepherd of the Israel of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed their flocks? Ye eat the fat and ye clot your clot you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flocks. The disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up the 
that which was broken neither have ye brought again that which was driven away neither have ye sought that which was loose but with force and with cruel cruelty cruelty have ye ruled them and they were scattered because there is no shepherd and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered my sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every eye hill ye my flocks were scattered upon all the face of the earth and none did shut or seek after them therefore ye shepherd hear the word of the lord as i live said the lord God surely because my flocks become a prey and my flocks become meat to every beast of the field because there was no shepherd neither did my shepherds shut for my flocks but the shepherds feed themselves and feed not my flocks Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flocks, flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flocks. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flocks from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. For thou said the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both start my sheep and seek them out. Amen. Amen. On the 2nd of July, I had a dream, and I saw myself in one of Orimo Worship Center in Nigeria. And I saw many people, the members there, they were building, working in the campground. As they were working, building the worship center, they were building, putting stories, put all these pillars. The Lord told me the reason why he brought me here is to see the things happening among us that make him angry now. I saw our member building, they were raising up scaffolds it was a strong building they were busy working but they took they, they were busy working but they were in a fearful way they were afraid of the coordinator that was there and then as they were doing the work it appears to be in bondage the way they were working like when you are looking this hebrews uh, those days movie how the Israelites they were working in the Egypt land with no cloth they were you will see their ribs this was how they are working and why I am angry that was the Lord was telling me now he was telling me they see 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 my children how they are working and they are working in bondage and they say why I am angry is that my son is working and in and is bringing clean sheep to me but but these coordinators He's not talking about all. He showed me certain coordinators that we are talking about seven of them. These coordinators are making them dirty, and I will not take it again. And then the Lord was talking, and then the Lord go again and say, "I send judgment on Pastor Moses to make them careful, but they are not learning their lesson. What disturbed me is that they are trans transferring their evil." character into my children and then the lord turned to me and i saw our members they were working but they were murmuring and they were complaining gossiping backbiting they were angry but they said that we are working for god some of these other brethren they will be encouraging the other brethren i don't worry this work we are doing is for god it's not for the coordinator but their hearts were not sweet and then the lord said I cannot bless my children like this. I'm not a God. I'm not a man. I'm a God. I'm not a God that partial. Any man that walk in, in grumbling or any man that walk with anger, jealousy, you don't require payment. I will not pay my children. But they are working with all their heart for me. They are working with sincerity. But because of the suffering and because of this pain they are going through, the leaders are doing that. See now, backbiting, jealousy, all these things in their heart make them will not get reward. World. And what is paining him is that when his son, Pastor Rika's son, is going out bringing clean sheep 
It's not like other pastors that are doing. Jesus was talking now. Other pastors just go out and bring souls. That is talking about other denominations. That when they go and bring souls to him, they will just come and abandon the sheep there without telling them what they need to know. But why is why why is happy with Orimo and some people that are here that are bringing out the sheep here that they will bring them to him by the time they bring the sheep to him they have cleansed the sheep and the sheep were able to stand in front of him that's why he's happy with the movement but now he's seeing that even when the righteous children the servant of god that Elika, is bringing the sheep to him and for this shepherd for them to take care of them they have started to pollute them even when he has been trying to change some of these pastors that call that they are coordinator here to change them they are still holding on to their fleshly and desire and then the lord was saying and then the lord turned and said see what they are doing and i saw table in the midst of some coordinators and they were eating chicken and drinking wine and they were laughing so one of the member came to one of the coordinator of that state and said that sir i mistakenly did this to this uh, this thing i'm doing i think the things fell uh, with him and then the coordinator came and hit the man i said go and walk all the time he complained all the time he complained and even when the man fell down he used his leg and matched the head of the man and then i was say, ah i said god jesus is this how these people are cheating i said we don't know but i've seen i will tell daddy everything lord please don't be angry with me please we don't know but when we came everything will be looking fine but what will we talk i don't know i said thank god that they, they don't even know i mean they are missed but i will carry the reports to daddy and that the lord was saying that this is how they are behaving what is it is another left you have to tell me again and say i am not happy with this behavior at all i'm trying to gather all of you to go to heaven this sheep that they are maltreating now make them to become somebody i see these coordinators when they were in the wall as a sinner their heart was searching for true god but because of the wall polluted them i brought them inside as i decided to choose my my disciple to save them at the end time of destruction which day they did not know that i saved them but these ones i saved them now by bringing them here to learn the truth and to get them rapture but they think that i brought them here to marry and to be treat these people or to not to work or to embezzle themselves or to get themselves rich or make themselves um feeling good tell them that this is not why i saved them i brought them to knowledge of holy and righteousness i brought them here to be shepherd to my sheep and to carry them to heaven not for them to maltreat them and then the lord turned to me these people that they are treating like this if you check these people now see and then the lord was showing me the garment of the people and the coordinator some of this coordinator and the lord was saying now majority of my sheep if i come now they will go and then that i'm treating my sheep most of the sheep are clean than them if they are talking about righteousness and then the lord was saying that now see what is coming from there now to my people and i saw smoke was coming from some of these coordinator hearts to the people and i was asking lord what is this it's like when they draw something and then the lord was saying this is the attitude of them as make my sheep now to get polluted and i will not take it because if them have tried to change them i've been sending message to revive the only few that wake up to sense and I, that wake up to reality and only few that if i come now we make it to heaven and i will show you this few and then the lord was telling me that see what they are doing and as they were eating and merry one of them said that it was seven of them but the one i saw was five and one of them said he's going to call his other friend to join them and i was surprised in the dream i said god what is this i said lord you have to help us please jesus daddy did not know this you see he's not here because the way the lord was talking in the dream as if he's angry with with us he was angry and then he turned to me and say even if he did not tell my son i will tell my son what to do that anyone that want to pollute my sheep i will remove them i will tell my son what to do those that are righteous i will bless them but those that are here that are still in their flesh they don't want to fear me i will remove them because i've seen that the devil want to use them to pollute my people see the the way my children are working but see how they are working and all of a they were talking oh, they were talking crying backbiting all this kind of thing talking against the coordinator but they were afraid to meet them and then the lord says see how their heart has polluted because of the behavior of the shepherd and because of that they will not make heaven 
how we not reward somebody that is is complaining somebody that is gossiping somebody that is backbiting but my children they are working and then the lord was standing like this said, how can i pay them now with this kind of work i'm not a god that compromise how can i pay them now this is the same thing all that are doing in the world they are working in this sinful church but i will not pay them because their work is not clean and these two they want to pollute them with grumbling with backbiting with anger with jealousy all these things they complain they they don't feel free and i will not pay somebody like this even if he's working in my vineyard a coordinator went and attacked a member as i told you earlier on the member was trying to ask him for something to apologize to him that he has break something or whatever the way he handled the coordinator the way he handled the member the lord was angry with with the with, with the lord with the man and said see how he's treated and this person is treating like this is the person that is feeding him by through their work he's living and now see the way he's treating them and then the lord turned to me and said that i should tell the coordinators that they know themselves that some of them the behavior of them is paining him and he saved them out of this sinful world to bring them to reality of holiness and righteousness for them to save their soul but some of them have the same perspective that they are here and some of them carry the spirit of partiality only care for the rich you don't want that that some of the coordinator only care for the rich ones have time for the rich ones even go to some of these rich people to their house and say their favorite word to them to get their attention to them that he don't like it they are shepherd for all sheep and then they say and most of them if they continue this tell them i will tell them at the end of the day walk out of iniquity and they know what it means they will depart from me and the second one is same most of them still live in lie anger wickedness they did wickedness to to the righteous children under them and i don't like it so they should be transferred they should be a good teacher and it's some of them they live in jealousy selfish desires love of money not a giver only a receiver that i should tell them that a, 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 a shepherd should be example of giver so be example of love so be example of goodness is not a, a, a leader to be example of not a giver that i should ask some of this coordinator that when it comes to the time of doing the work of god which one of them will pull their own personal money to support the work without the contribution of my children that is this work only for my children or they to want to make heaven tell them that i'm seeing everything and then they say some of them have sweet talk what they say is but their heart is bad their mouth is sweet but their heart is dirty most of them live in backbiting evil plan against righteous un uncompromised children that children that are don't compromise the children that can tell coordinator the truth or their leader the truth whatsoever they are stand for the truth and because of that they plan evil against them that you don't like it at all that they should love those that are telling them the truth and they said many of them are in the flesh and many of them set their eyes on art on art how to beget rich or make themselves famous or do themselves good by saying to themselves that this is the way god has blessed us god has brought us here let's make our way and then the lord turned to me and make an illustration by example and say my daughter if now you go to america or any country that you people desire ever on earth and you went there for just one month you go and build a big mansion that costs how many millions and do everything there just for one month for holiday and come back to your country and then you leave everything there it's not belonging to you again how do you call that kind of person how do you call that kind of person somebody that will travel now to abuja for just one month and build a mansion house there buy cars just for one month and when he's coming back to just he's not coming to anything how do you call that kind of person and then the lord was telling me that this is how he pays him when a righteous christian that say he has known heaven and know god behave on earth when they are wasting their time wasting their money on earth wasting their resources on earth this place that they will not live forever that tell them that i don't want them to become as a fool they are my creation that they should put their eyes above anyone that puts his eyes on ground will live on earth 
Don't accept their eyes on up. They will go up. Tell them that they should not waste their desire, their money on things on earth. Many of my coordinators, many of them are thinking of blessing themselves on earth, making themselves enriched, doing things that will bless them, give them. Tell them that their work should be for me. I will bless them. The heart belongs to me. What they need, I will give them. But many of them think I brought them in only more to enrich themselves or to favor themselves. No, I save them. They will not know. And then the Lord said, my daughter, you people will not know what I've done to bring holiness, to revive you people to holiness and to righteousness. It's when I will destroy this world. He said the destruction that he described in the book of the Bible, the father, his father has added the punishment than the book we have written, the holy book that he told us how he will destroy the world. He said because the, the sin of man every day is increasing the pain in the heart of the holy father. And God is to destroy this world more than what he said in the Bible. He will increase it. So when he saved them, I should tell coordinator that he has seen them even when they were in their sinful life. That truly they were looking for God. But because of the pollution around them and the way they found themselves, he, they were not able to stand. But he said that truly they want to serve him. He brought them here. I should tell them I did not brought them here for them to pollute themselves or them for them to fill their fleshly desire. That is for them to follow holiness and righteousness to be truthful and to carry the sheep he has given to unto them and to carry the sheep he has given unto them and the lord was saying that i should warn them that he don't like what they are doing that he will not take it at all that if they don't want to change and they want satan to use them now to oppress my children to pollute them he will not take it and the lord was very angry he was angry and when he was walking in the camp a man fell down and then the man said oh god all this is for you please reward me man is ungrateful all this kind of thing was saying it and then i saw in the dream the lord raised him up but it was his soul and then the lord speak to the soul that be patient i'll reward you but i saw in the physical again the man was still lying there and then he stood up for himself i said ah, which kind of thing is this and then the lord said i communicate with the soul the soul i speak to the soul the soul will comfort him by telling him that he will wait for me these people don't even know i'm in their midst i've told you anywhere my righteous children gather i'm in their midst tell them they should fear of what they are doing say in the corner say in the present i'm in the midst of all my righteous because there is no time i'm trying to gather my children so i will never leave them so that the devil will not destroy them but I hate when they want to use the devil to come and pollute them that I will not take it again. And I said, I said, Lord, I will tell, I will explain to daddy and I will talk to the coordinator. And then the Lord says, see, if I come now for them to know that I'm serious of what I'm saying. I saw earth was moving as if this way Moses was leading the people. I saw, but it was a desert and a, a wind was blowing, sun all over the place. And I saw about six coordinators walking with daddy, two in front of daddy by inside, two by the side of the people, and other ones was back. Two of the other coordinators were back, leading the people with daddy. And then the other one, we were coming by group, but we walked ahead of some of the coordinators and some people, and when they reached at the bank of the water, the water had to close between us. So when they reached, they were saying that. So the people were asking the coordinator, where is daddy? Where are the other people? We are not seeing them. And then they were even telling the people that sheep have carried daddy. They will come and take us back. They were lying. And God says, see, they are even lying in their damnation. That this is just a luxury I give you. This is how I've closed them. They don't know that only me will open this sea for them to pass. This is how many of them have left behind. But they think they are following you people. But this is how I've demarcated the righteous one in Holy Mall. And then I saw that he was carrying plenty of people. We were walking and God said, see, this is what the devil wants to produce. See what these people have done for me by bringing many souls for me. And then he was happy. He was thanking, he was telling me to tell daddy that, that the righteous coordinator and Dadirika and the righteous children here that they should all learn fast that even the money was talking again about money that he don't like some of these pastors will be saying that they are not seeing the money they are not eating the money that they should stop that talk they are saying because it's a lie that he is providing for them in this movement 
that he don't like what they are saying is a lie that he god is helping them in this ministry that even the way some of them are enjoying in this ministry his son which is that the liquor is not enjoying like that and then he talked to me and say my daughter when i'm saying it people will be thinking that it's a lie but at the end i will play everybody life before every man that this man i call my son which is your which is paul everything about him is for me I see his heart. I see everything about him. That he don't desire anything in this world. Everything about me. I want that to follow suit because I don't want you people to think of anything belongs to you on this earth. Nothing on this earth is yours, but it's heaven that belongs to you. Even if you build a house here, it's not yours. And then he turned to me and said, Follow the footsteps of your husband. Don't look at anything in this world. This world is not your home. Even if somebody gives you anything, it's not yours. It belongs to me because you are going to a place where I will give you. So give me your own on earth here and I will give you my own in heaven. And then the Lord was telling me that, please, I should tell her, this is the last warning, that he would tell his son, that anyone that don't want to make that his grace is sufficient for us in this ministry, that he is the owner of this ministry because he has seen the end of the world. That's why he gathered us here. And what they are telling us is the truth, that we should learn, but we still here. Some of us here are still in the flesh. And we are still weaving like this, that please is begging the coordinator because he look up to them as the shepherd for this sheep that they should change their ways that you don't like them to be married this is not the time to marry this is the time to walk and then they turn and as soon as still they were eating chicken all these things and then they were laughing even just with some of their coordinators all this kind of thing and then they lost a C. they are not even bother people are walking and then they are sitting they are married i don't like it I don't like it. Before they police my people, I've tried for them, sent many revelation, message to them, talk with them, but they are still joking. I will remove them. And those that are righteous, I will bless them. So that was what the Lord told me. And then I want to read the end of Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 12 to 16. That the Lord was saying that he will take over his sheep, he will take care of his sheep, he will stand by his righteous children in this ministry to work for him, that if they that don't want to be sober, he will remove them because he don't want anybody to pollute these ones that he God has planned out to save them in this end time. And then they are allowing the devil to come and pollute them. That what he needs is unity, love, and they should be a, a good example to the people and they should carry the people. And his grace is sufficient for them, but they should not be the one to destroy them. And verse 12 says, As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the days that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have. And before I read this thing, this, me this message has helped me to remember. And then the Lord was saying, Some of my children have left because of the behavior of some coordinators and they are scattered about go back to their say, And some of them will say that they are making it out there without or remote they will make it out there but they go with bitter heart that nobody will make it with bitter heart nobody will make it with grave or anger with jealousy or malice that should tell everybody that if you are working here you need a reward you should not walk in pain you should walk in love that you should try to be bold that as long as what you are doing is right because the lord was complaining about the heart the lord showed me the heart of people and it was really black but you see that they were walking, carving stone, all these things, see the people. And then the Lord was really lamenting and said, how can I pay them? See the way they are suffering. But I will not pay any man with anger. I will not pay any man with malice. I will not pay any man with bitter hearts. No matter what, however you work for me, sponsor my work, as long as your heart is full of bad, bad biting, all this bad thing, the characteristic of Satan, you will never get reward. And it pains me because truly some of them have really worked, but because of the little sin and this pain in their heart will not make them to go to heaven. So that's why I'm sending this message. Tell them they should walk in love and tell the coordinators that they should make the people to work for a reward. And even them, if they don't want reward, they should move. And then I continue now. I will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloud and that day. 
and I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their full be, floor be. There shall they lie in a good floor and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountain of Israel. I will feed my flocks and I will cause them to lie down, said the Lord God. If I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away, and we bind up that which was broken, and we strengthen that which was sick, but I will destroy the fat and the strong, I will feed them with judgment. That's the message. May the Lord Jesus help us all. Let's stand on our feet. Maybe you are here, your heart is full, you are walking truly, you are a Christian, you are a born again Christian, but you know, backbiting all this thing, please, let's begin to ask God for mercy now. Maybe one way or the other, one of your friends in the ministry or your coordinator have done something to you, you cannot say it, but you are keeping it in your heart or you have backbited him or whatever thing you have, the person have done to you, you are defile yourself by jealousy, talking, backbiting, all this corner corner business, pocket meeting, begin to tell God mercy. Father, I don't want to walk in vain. Help me God, take away this jealousy, take away this anger, take away this backbiting. Whatever thing the person have done to me, truly I was hurt, but Lord forgive me. Help me Lord not to bother about man. Help me not to bother about whatever they did to me on this world. Father, help me to make heaven. Help me kill the flesh, oh Lord. Help me not to bother. Father, help me. Jesus help me. Have mercy upon me. Even coordinator pray. Maybe you have done something or said something to these people that made them to go today with your bad name. But they offend you, but you don't have to handle. Father, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. I will be patient with them now. I every day I will carry it to you, oh boy. You will help me, Jesus. Have mercy upon me. For oh Lord Jesus, have mercy. Father, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Father, help us. Father, help us. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Have mercy, oh Lord Jesus. Have mercy, oh God. Father, help me not to walk in vain. Help me not to walk in vain. Jesus, help me not to walk in vain. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Oh Lord, shut me out, oh God. If I'm the one you are speaking to, have mercy on me. Revive me. A new beginning, a new start. I will take care of your sheep. And me, the sheep, I will, I will respect the shepherd. I will be in unity because the shepherd has a part to play in my life to heaven. And me too have a part to play in the shepherd life. Father, help me to be a good sheep. To be under my shepherd. Help me to be a good shepherd. Help me to walk in unity. Oh God, help us. Jesus, help us. Help us, oh Lord, that we will not suffer because of anger. We will not suffer in hell because of lie. We will not suffer in hell because of backbiting. Jesus, help us. Help us, oh God. Have mercy upon us, oh God. Have mercy. Whosoever have offended, Lord, I don't know. Father, Lord, settle the matter. Forgive me, oh God. Have mercy, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the coordinators that are here come to the front. We want to pray for you that you will not disappoint Jesus. We want to plead with them, any one of them that has been treacherous, full of anger, full of uh, or rough in language or anything, or lying, is going to affect the world. And many people are being affected. See now. The Lord said many members are not receiving reward because they are offended by them. We want to plead that God will forgive them and uh, give them a, another privilege. Kneel down upon your knees and plead for this coordinator. Everybody be on your knees and plead for coordinators all over the country, outside the country. May God forgive them and give them another privilege. The ones that the Lord will want to remove because that is his judgment.
If this is his wisdom, okay. But we are pleading with God, forgive them. We want good leaders. We want good leaders. We want people that fear God, not people who are selfish. Coming to look for their gain. Hey, these people. They have a privilege to work for God like this. They have, they, their heart is thinking another thing. How are you treating the people of God? Hey! Jesus. God gave you opportunity for your good. Jesus name we pray now these members that backbiting bitterness has entered to them because of the way their coordinators rule them and now their names are being removed from the book of life no reward we want to pray go forgive the members let's pray that go forgive them go will remove those things watch them cleanse them God will purify them from the bitterness. This is a stem. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, the God of mercy, actually it's mercy you shot us in this life to raise up holiness revival movement and gave us this pure spirit, the Holy Spirit, to be the one leading us and see how you will be talking to us constantly. Father, Moses said to the children of Israel, which nation do you have on earth that have God so near among them? As the Lord is in all things that we do, we appreciate this message. A God, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm aware, you are wounded. The members have been complaining about their coordinators. In this state, complaint will come. But when the man comes before me, I don't see anything. The tongue is sweet. I don't understand. Where is the fault? I don't even know. Complain here, complain there. I was happening. God, actually, truly, I don't appear to know these things. I am praying. Since you have known them, forgive us. Amen. Forgive holiness of our movement. Amen. Forgive these coordinators. Amen. Forgive the members. Amen. Heal the wounds, O oh Lord. Amen. Cleanse iniquity, Father. Amen. Restore us back to life. Amen back to holiness Amen. in Jesus mighty name Amen. do so all over the world Amen. wherever holiness revival movement is cleanse your people Amen. give us another privilege Amen. 
in Jesus mighty name we pray those who have left us in your mercy may the Lord bring them by in Jesus name we pray The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4318. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
they believe in you, believe you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord. 